Russia uses banned chemical weapons in battles along the entire front line. Russia is using banned chemical weapons, specifically chloropicrine gas, in battles along the entire front line in Ukraine with the goal of weakening the ability of Ukrainian troops to defend fortified positions and even forcing them to retreat. According to the Wall Street Journal, American and Ukrainian officials, as well as doctors, Soldiers and international researchers say Russia's use of banned chemical weapons on the battlefield is becoming more frequent as Moscow ramps up its offensive. Earlier this month, the United States announced sanctions against Russian companies and government agencies involved in the creation and supply of chemical weapons used at the front, specifically highlighting chloropicrine. The chemical, sometimes used in pesticides, was introduced into service during World War I and banned for use in combat by the Chemical Weapons Convention, which Russia is a signatory to. Dan Kazeta, a chemical weapons expert and associate researcher at the Royal United Services Institute think tank in London, says chloropicrine is toxic to humans and animals and also acts as an irritant. Depending on the degree of exposure, the gas can burn your skin, irritate your tear ducts and make it difficult to breathe, not to mention protect you from attackers. The chemical has been replaced by more modern substances sometimes used by police as tear gas known as CN and CS, which are also banned by the convention, Cassetta said. According to Captain Dmitry Sergienko, assistant commander of the Analytical Center of the Ukrainian Army Support Forces, which analyzes the use of chemical weapons at the front, all three of these substances are used by the Russians on the battlefield. Although his group mainly records the use of CN and CS in the area they are tracking, they also found two grenades containing chloropicrine at abandoned Russian positions, writes the Wall Street Journal. The Ukrainians have been monitoring the use of chemical weapons at the front since February 2023, and the number of confirmed incidents has been steadily increasing. As of May the 3rd, the support forces had confirmed 1,891 such attacks since data tracking began, 444 of them in April, an increase of 71 confirmed incidents from the month before. These numbers are an incomplete picture because the intensity of the fighting often makes it impossible to get to the site where the gas was used to take samples or interview soldiers. The Wall Street Journal notes, Lieutenant Vitali Katrik, a military medic working at a stabilization point near the front, said there were times when every second patient he treated was exposed to poisonous gas. According to him, once the Russians receive a shipment, they use it constantly until it runs out. Ireland, Norway, and Spain have recognized Palestinian state, prompting Israel recall ambassadors to three key European countries. Today, Ireland, Norway, and Spain are announcing that we recognize the state of Palestine. Each of us will now undertake whatever national steps are necessary to give effect to that decision, Irish Prime Minister Simon Harris told a news conference in Dublin on Wednesday. Irish Foreign Minister Michael Martin said that the recognition of a Palestinian state by these European players will come into force in all three countries on May 28. The move was condemned by Israel. History will remember that Spain, Norway, and Ireland decided to award a gold medal to the Hamas murderers and rapists, said Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz. Israel will not remain silent in the face of those undermining its sovereignty and endangering its security, Katz wrote on post on X, formerly known as Twitter right after the announcement of decision about recognition. Today's decision sends a message to the Palestinians and the world, terrorism pays. After the Hamas terror organization carried out the largest massacre of Jews since the Holocaust, after committing heinous sexual crimes witnessed by the world, these countries chose to reward Hamas and Iran by recognizing a Palestinian state, added Katz. Palestinian statehood has been recognized by over 130 out of 193 member states of the United Nations, according to the Palestine Liberation Organization. Marine drones of the Ukraine Sea Baby are now equipped with GRAD systems and are already actively minus occupiers. Last night, Sea Baby, together with the Navy, was effectively transported from the sea according to the positions of the Russians on the Kinban Spit. Our Sea Baby is not just a drone, 
but a richly functional platform that can be gradually improved. And today we can confirm that they are equipped with a Salvo Fire rocket system and this technological solution is already showing consistent results. So the enemy is on the lookout for new surprises. Pratsiwimo, as always effective, said Ukrainian army. The successful operation of Ukrainian unmanned surface vessels against enemy ships and infrastructure has drastically changed the situation in the Black Sea. The situation at sea has changed dramatically since the large-scale invasion began, and Russian ships no longer feel free in the western and southwestern part of the Black Sea. Sea Baby Drone, used by Ukraine State Security Service for special operations, is capable of carrying 850 kilograms of explosives. At the same time, a missile from the S-300 system has a warhead of 150 kilograms, and such a projectile can destroy an entire section of a five-story building. At the same time, a caliber cruise missile has a warhead of 450 kilograms and can destroy a whole building.